Occasionally, you may have equipment fail on the airplane. When the DSP fails, the CDU may be used to control the displays. Display the menu page. The menu page connects the CDU to the FMC, SATCOM, or the cabin interphone system. The menu page provides access to the CDU pages that back up the EFIS control panel and DSP. Turn on the DSP control on the CDU. The ICAS advisory message display select panel appears when any CDU has control of the DSP. Display the display modes control page. The display select switches are backed up by their respective prompts on the CDU. The display mode switches are also backed up by a set of prompts. The other three keys have respective backups as well. The synoptic switches have prompts on a separate page. Display the display synoptics page. The display select prompts are displayed again. The synoptic switches are displayed in order from top to bottom on the right. The other synoptic switches are also displayed. This prompt returns you to the display modes page. Turn off CDU control of the displays. Control of the displays is returned to the repaired DSP. Next, let's use the CDU to control the EFIS. The ICAS advisory message, EFIS control panel right, indicates that the first officer's EFIS control panel is inoperative. The captain's CDU can control only the captain's EFIS displays, and the first officer's CDU can control only the first officer's EFIS displays. Turn on CDU control of the EFIS display. Display the EFIS control page. The EFIS control page controls all of these control panel functions. The barometric altimeter setting may be entered in either inches of mercury or hectopascals. The FMC knows the difference and switches between the two units automatically. The radio barrow minimums must also be entered as data. The barrow altimeter setting can be quickly changed to standard by entering S or STD in the barrow set line. Use the CDU to change the altimeter to standard. The rad barrow minimums reference is controlled by this prompt. Change the PFD minimums reference to the radio altimeter. The minimums alert on the respective PFD can be reset here. There are two range prompts to set the ND display range. Select the range increase prompt to increase the ND range. The range increases by the same increments as the EFIS control panel. The page also provides ND mode selection. Currently, the ND map mode is selected.
The center prompt operates the same as the ND center switch on the EFIS control panel. The options prompt displays the EFIS options page. Display the EFIS options page. All of the map switches are backed up on the CDU. The flight path vectors, meters, and traffic switches are all on the CDU also. With the EFIS control panel, you can independently control the left VOR ADF pointers and the right VOR ADF pointers. However, the corresponding prompt on the CDU controls both left and right simultaneously. Both VOR ADFs are off. Both left and right ADFs are on. Or both left and right VORs are on. Use the CDU to display the air synoptic on the left inboard display. Select the correct display. You have been cleared for an ADF approach and need to display the ADF pointers. Display the ADF pointers on the ND.